good morning students welcome to the science class and our chapter first food we have already done with part 1 let's move on to part 2 before we start with our new topics let's revise have a quick recap with the topics we have learned earlier what are nutrients the substances in food which help organisms to grow and survive are called as nutrients we have learned about different types of nutrients let's revise them carbohydrates and fats give our body quick energy so they are called as energy giving nutrients vitamins and minerals help body to work properly and fight disease next proteins are those nutrients which help in repairing the damaged parts of body we have also learnt about importance of roughage which helps our body to clear out undigested food roughage is also known as fiber then we have learnt about importance of water yes we should regularly have 8 to 10 glasses of water to absorb the nutrients properly from the food let's move on and see what is a balanced diet what do you understand by the term diet the daily meals whatever we include in our food and we eat daily is called as our diet but what do we understand by balanced diet let's see look at this food pyramid yes at the bottom what can you see grains as we move up we can see vegetables and fruits then we have milk and milk products and we have on this side meat fish egg and nuts while going at the at the top of the pyramid we have a very narrow path that means that shows we should have less amount of fats and oils yes fatty substances the food rich in fats should be had in less amount they should be had daily but in less amount yes what is a balanced diet before we learn let we see what is a diet the food that we eat every day is called as a diet the food that we eat every day is called as our diet a diet that gives your body all the required nutrients in proper amount in proper proportion is called as a balanced diet a diet that gives your body all the required nutrients in proper amount in proper proportion is called as a balanced diet we cannot have daily same type of food or we cannot include only the food which we love in our diet can we have daily same vegetables same fruits no what will happen we will not have a balanced diet and our body will not function properly as it requires all the nutrients and when we require to grow properly we need to have proper balanced diet so this we get from all the different groups rich in different nutrients each single group cannot be important in our daily meal in our daily diet we need to have all the groups from all the groups something whichever 
food product we like and that is called as a balanced diet okay a balanced diet must contain following food items from each group protein group what does protein group include eggs fish nuts so you can have any food product of your choice from protein group in your daily diet milk group milk group includes milk cheese curd and different milk products so any any one product from this group coming to vegetable and fruits group apples banana tomatoes ample variety different variety of vegetables we have you can have any vegetable and fruit of your own choice in your daily diet next is cereals group growing children require more amount of cereals as they require more energy and they keep on moving here and there according to our movement our our work we do accordingly we require the amount by each group and accordingly we should have it cereals group cereals group include rice wheat maize bread moong so we should all try to have any one product from every group and that is every day that is called as a balanced diet to get all the nutrients in our daily diet we should have each one of the food product from each group as we cannot get all the nutrients from any one group so equivalent equally we have to have all the groups and whichever product we like yes these are the different groups can you see pictures can you see different groups having different types of food products from each group you need to have different food products whichever you like yes this balanced diet this chart shows us that what amount what proportion of these things should be had in our daily diet and then it becomes a balanced diet first of all 40% what does 40% include it includes fresh vegetables and fresh fruits so more amount of vegetables and fruits will give us more amount of nutrients like vitamins and minerals and antioxidants yes then we move on to 25% what is it that 25% fiber rich carbohydrates yes the carbohydrates we require in 25% proportion next we move on to 25% that is protein rich food proteins rich food also 25% of our daily diet then 10% of fats only 10% of fats from our 100% of diet only 10% should be had of fats which shows that less amount of fats should be consumed should be had by us now let's move on to methods of cooking and preserving food why do we cook food yes cooking food by heating helps in killing the germs present on the food cooking food by heating helps in killing the germs present on the food cooking also makes the food even more tastier 
कुकिंग मेक्स द फूड सॉफ्ट ईजी टू च्यू एंड डाइजस्ट सो दीस आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ कुकिंग फूड दिस इज द मेन पार्ट विच यू शुड नो वाई डू वी कुक फूड बिफोर वी कुक वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स टू रिमेंबर आर फर्स्ट वॉशिंग फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स प्रॉपरली येस वी ऑल लाइक टू हैव सैलड्स इन अवर सैलड्स वी हैव रॉ वेजिटेबल्स रॉ मीन्स वी डू नॉट कुक दैम वी जस्ट कट एंड वॉश एंड ईट दैम Yes, so these raw vegetables need to be washed thoroughly in water. They should be washed properly to remove the dust and germs on their surface, and then we should chop or cut and have them. Even the vegetables we which we need to cook should be washed. and then they should be cut second do not overcook food as it kills the nutrients present in food if we keep on cooking for a longer period of time the nutrients from the vegetables get lost and overcooking spoils the taste of the food number 3 don't add excess water while cooking so we should try to minimize the water amount in the vegetables whatever amount we require only that much should be added as if you add more amount of water and while cooking it happens that more amount is there and you remove and throw it away what happens all the nutrients of the vegetables are lost so we should not add excess water while cooking next method we will learn about is preservation what do you understand by preservation let's see what are preservatives preservatives are nothing but substances that are added to foods to preserve them to keep them safe for a longer period of time different ways to preserve food are refrigeration using preservatives canning drying refrigeration if food is kept in refrigerator the growth of germs slows down what happens slows down food can be stored for few days in the refrigerator so that it does not turn bad yes the cooked food at night if it is left out what do we do we put it in refrigerator so that we use it for the next day and if it is not preserved not kept in refrigerator what happens it turns rotten and then we cannot have that food we have to not eat that food yes we put all the things in refrigeration isn't it yes next is using preservatives substances such as sugar salt and oil are used as preservatives to slow down the growth of germs substances such as sugar salt and oil are used as preservatives to slow down the growth of germs preservatives are added to food to preserve them for a longer period of time have you seen your mother making pickles yes what does she add more amount of oil to preserve it for a longer period of time so we need to use this preservatives when we use it for a longer period of time 
कैन यू सी द डिफरेंट पिकल्स इन दिस पिक्चर नेक्स्ट कैनिंग वट डू वी अंडरस्टैंड बाई कैनिंग इन कैनिंग जर्म्स आर फर्स्ट किल्ड एंड देन द फूड इज सील इन टू कैंस और बॉटल्स इन कैनिंग जर्म्स आर फर्स्ट किल्ड एंड देन द फूड इज सील इन टू कैंस लाइक एग्जाम्पल यू कैन हैव ऑफ सॉस कैचअप्स जैम्स वॉट कैन यू सी योर येस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ जूसेस नेक्स्ट ड्राइंग वॉटर इज रिमूव फ्रॉम द फूड आइटम्स टू स्टॉप जर्म्स फ्रॉम ग्रोइंग एंड प्रिजर्व द फूड्स वॉटर इज रिमूव फ्रॉम द फूड आइटम्स टू स्टॉप जर्म्स फ्रॉम ग्रोइंग एंड टू प्रिजर्व द फूड दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज ड्राइंग यस वी कैन सी दिस कॉर्न एंड ड्राइड फिश नेक्स्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम हेल्दी डाइट अ बैलेंस डाइट वी नीड टू हैव अ हेल्दी डाइट एंड अ बैलेंस डाइट वॉट एल्स डू वी नीड टू टेक केयर अबाउट अवर हेल्थ लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन अवर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हेल्थ केयर पार्ट नंबर वन स्लीप यू नीड स्लीप ऑफ एट आवर्स ऑफ good quality sleep which gives you mental peace and makes you work makes you active every day so for that 8 hours sleep is necessary next what to eat includes nutrients rich food such as fruits vegetables yes whole grains beans and nuts first point is taking care of your sleep and second is nutrient rich foods next third is physical activity yes we need to do exercise of 30 minutes regularly so that our body remains fit next hygiene what do we what do we see here shower every day brush your teeth yes twice a day always wash your hands before eating and carry a sanitizer in the places wherever necessary so nowadays it has become important to carry sanitizers to keep yourself free from your hands free from germs and dust so these are the four important points we have learned to take care about our health yes think about it food first thing buy it with thought second cook it with care number 3 use less wheat and meat number 4 buy local foods number 5 serve just enough yes when you are at home you should take the amount of food as much required you should not waste and you should not throw away yes so this is the lesson about food activity answer in one sentence first why do we cook food we cook food so that the germs on the surface of the food are killed and the food is easy to chew and digest we cook food so that the germs on the surface of the food are killed and the food is easy to chew and digest number 2 what is a balanced diet a diet that gives your body all the required nutrients is called as a balanced diet a diet that gives your body 
all the required nutrients is called as a balanced diet number 3 name the three substances that can be added to food to preserve it salt sugar oil are the substances that can be added to food to preserve it salt sugar oil are the substances that can be added to food to preserve it i hope you have enjoyed the lesson and we have learnt about balanced diet and different methods of cooking and preserving food thank you children take care stay safe have a